Hi guys, so we're at Europe's Strongest Man backstage right now. Uh, we're about an hour and a half away from competing. Some of the guys are just kind of getting massages and kind of getting some, you know, just chilling out really. No one will kind of warm up until about probably four-ish. Got the logs just over here to warm up with. You want to have a spin around and see those? It's um, out the front. We've got like the bins back here and all sorts of stuff going on back there. but. It's going to be a great show. We've got um, 12 guys in doing the Loglifting World Championships first. Starting weight is 175 kilos. And then they're going to go up and up, try and break the British record. And I think um, probably Hixie and IMB have a good shot at the world record. And then it moves on to Strongman Show. We've got four more events. It's going to be a great day. Um, you guys get a bit of a behind the scenes look at what's happening. Feeling ready? Hey, Larry. Hey, uh, buddy. You okay? Doing well. Oh, yeah. I'm good, man. How are you? Uh, never better. Good, man. You're looking really well. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. 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 Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you go. Been practicing hard in the bar. That's right. Yeah. Mark's been a good coach. Yeah. Uh, Lars. Hello, mate. You right? Oh, yeah. Mark is mate. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? I'm all right. Thank you. Are you? Good yeah, good. We've got to go up and meet and greet. Oh, yeah. Have a good day. And you're my all the best, man. Yeah. Hashtag World Smokers Gay from the USA. <laughs> and Joey. Lisa Carroll. And Los Alicious. <laughs> I remember Phil Fister back in Malta was at 08. How old are you, Larry? And he went, 26. <laughs> I thought you were 50. <laughs> yeah, you actually got, you're I thought younger. you got younger looking as I'm kind of The Benjamin Button of uh, <laughs> Strongman. Oh, well, it's good to us. Let's put a chat briefly with the athletes. Do we have to send them back down to warm up? Let's start here with uh, Mr. Lawrence Charley. <coughs> Europe's strongest man, 2016. The only man to slay Thor inside the arena. First, it has he got a weakness? Because that day, it would be fair to say, you were basically second. He was first. Second, he was first, and then he stumbled, and that you just carried on and grabbed it. You grabbed the first, and off you went. You did a world record in the car. Uh, and you are your strongest man forever. Yeah, no one can take that away from me now. So, um, yeah, I've managed to break up his four-year dominance of the title. So, um, everyone's beaten. Thor's an amazing athlete, um, but so is everyone else here. You know, you've got so many good guys, and you just have to be consistently good across the board, and that's what he's been so good at the last few years. You know, he's really going to find out any weaknesses he maybe had in the past. He does have one event that maybe a few years ago was a weakness, and we haven't really seen if it's been tested recently, which is probably going to be easy hurting Tom. Um, you know, you've got Mark Felix competing today, who, in my opinion, his grip is as impressive as getting a world record on the log today. You know, a 230 log is, is, is the same equivalent to, to Mark's grip. Uh, I can't see anyone beating him on that event. But there's a, there's a number of other guys that are capable of beating Thor on it as well. Is, is that just old man strength? Why is this grip so good? I don't think every old man has kind of Mark Felix grip strength, so... Um, the fact that his hands are probably like the size of dinner plates helps. <laughs> they're, they're actually, they are from thumb to uh, end of little finger. Well, I think 13 inches, I think it's on the back of your program. Yeah, if you've got a program, you can see how, how <laughs> good it is. Uh, we were messing around yesterday at dinner, and um, we did a little kind of video on, on the phone, and I like, see my hand against him, I look like a little boy. But then a normal guy put his hands against Mark's, and it was even worse. So, you know, it's, he really has ridiculously big hands. and. Um, you know, that, that type of strength doesn't seem to fade as you get older, the grip strength. You know, you might lose a bit of speed, a little bit of the, the grip power on the deadlifting and the pressing stuff, but the grip strength just stays there and it's going to be hard to beat. That chair just survived the people. <laughs> 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 Kaz is behind you, ready to catch. <laughs> Here he is, our school teacher and world's strongest gay and one of the world's strongest men.
feel very proud, actually, about, about how wonderful uh, and, you know, just the most strong as the guys are so, you know, pretty comfortable with, with is there, he said, I said, how was it like being, you know, the only open media man in, in strongman? He said, well, you know, it's, it's probably the most uber macho sport. They have, no one even talks about it. It's just about numbers. <laughs> how's, how's life in, anyway? Joe, you're obviously there. You're married. Pretty chill. Can you do uh, big, big lifts today? I mean, that's the plan. You know, I wouldn't have come here if I could. Um, you know, training's been going well. You know, like I've said before, Derek Poundstone is coaching me now. Um, so he's put me through hell and back. Uh, but it seems I'll be paying off. I, I hit 214 last weekend. Um, the goal is to be more today. Now, I saw you putting out a message, which was a little kind of show. <coughs> and Larry Wills was invited. A lot of people. I had my head down, there was a lot of arrows coming my way. Oh, exactly. exactly. Oh, a lot, lot of arrows coming my way. And let's get a little fussed up going here. And then he put 202 up, and suddenly it was a game changer. What, what do you think so far? You still, you still think you could uh, kick his? I think I'm still going to take the American record today. Um, you know, but, you know, Larry's one of the most impressive guys I've seen jump into the sport of strongman and get to this level this quickly. Um, so nobody can take that away from him. But, uh, you know, I still think I'm the best large press in America. <laughs> All right. All right. Please stop seeing the showdown! Well, congratulations uh, on getting married. Arnold Schwarzenegger was wanting to marry them, but he was out there. That was wrong on you now, you know. He's just about to get out of here. Anyway, good luck today, Rob. Well, we'll start with very quickly introduce this man. If you haven't seen him in a strongman contest, I don't think he's seen himself in a strongman contest yet. <laughs> uh, he is a world record holder uh, across any. Uh, federation at uh, 245 pounds, which is about 100 and something kilos, uh, and he did that at uh, 21 years old. I mean, this guy's super strong. He did bodybuilding, won titles, and now he's going to strongman. And a lot of people, why are you inviting this man? He doesn't have the pedigree in competition, but what he does have is a 202 kilo log press for a double. And I've, I think I've staged at least. <laughs> 15 of the world records of my contests, and about another 50 that they weren't done at. And I can tell you, in 2004, when Raymond spoke manners, Hugo Girard, world record holder, Zadrunas was there, Sven was there, former world record holder, Jamie Reeves, I think, well, came in a comeback more. We had the greatest log pressers in the history at Lushniki Olympic Stadium, and we smashed the world record and did 190 kilos that day, and I thought, wow. This is amazing. This is as good as it's ever going to get. Surely. But there we are. He's never even competed in a proper long contest. He's here in the World Champs. He's done a double at 202 in training. Larry, sorry for the enormous build up pressure. <laughs> Look forward to your first contest. Absolutely. I can't wait to get on stage. I can't wait. Good stuff. Give us a only prediction for you because you can't talk about anybody else. What's your goal today? Uh, definitely 202. Uh, I might do it on a big stage and then I'm going to get cracked at 214. Nice. Well, 214 would be the American record. You would be having a showdown with Kerry. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you going to choose? Instagram star, very easy to troll and hate. <laughs> <laughs> hey? Very tempting. Yeah. Very tempting. <laughs> Proper dude, man. Really is. Only 24 years old still, right? Yeah, but he swallowed Barry White, so he's... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a lot fifty, it's unbelievable. Uh, quick, quick, Tom, how are you, sir? Big Tom Stoltman, big Stoltman! <laughs> <laughs> Tom, how are you, sir? Good, good, good. Who's going to work between you and your brother? That's all that really matters, right? <laughs> okay, you and him in law. Uh, Tom, what do you think? Uh, look. You and him, time flip, chain drag. I went over to Hilton. Thank you for saving your time. You took me something that you took me down. <laughs> okay, well, we're we basically straight over to your brother then. Um, yeah, obviously, you, I mean, you were tangled yesterday. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, we <laughs> both. <laughs> 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 I went for the you know, fake tan, he went for the orangutan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, big man, big man. Uh, you gonna beat your wee brother, eh? I think you've got a good chance. Um, obviously, Bratton's he picked me there. It was very, very impressive stone run. I don't know if anyone's seen it. It was, uh, I think, probably top three stone runs in the world that we've ever seen. So, 
I think it's going to be an epic storm run today. We've got Tom, we've got Thor, we've got Mateus over there, great storm lifter. Um, but yeah, I'm here to, to, to beat everyone. Yeah, it's simple. My uh, log press is really good. I've had a 210 log press in training. Deadlift's coming up, so uh, tire flip's going well. Hurt your soul's okay, stones as well. Yeah, I'm here. And, and the jaundice, is it some... It's just, uh, it's liver failure. Liver failure. <laughs> <laughs> Not the baby big man, you know what I mean? Uh, Adam Bishop only turned up today at a rugby match yesterday. You are the man who's you know, one of the main bosses there at uh, Harlequins, taking on Sale. I don't know if you know rugby, this uh, Adam Bishop. He was a rugby player before, but now he's the second strongest man in Britain. Third strongest man in the World Cup Finals! He's got from third to second. There's only one way the graph is going, Adam. Tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we didn't manage to get a win last night at work, but hopefully, I'm going to do a little bit better today. So. He's going to take Thor down, yeah? Jesus, trying to do a big axe to take Thor down. Trying to attack the Redwood, yeah. But, you know, everyone's here to try and climb that podium, so that's all we're all going to try and do. Climb the mountain. Yeah, if you haven't met Thor yet, he's. Boy, is he big. Uh, hello. 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 Yeah. He's dead, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's not that big, is he? Yeah, that was not. I better go and say the face of the map. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Four times Europe's strongest man and the world's strongest man. Hector <laughs> Julius Mediorson. Athlete and he can do uh, very well in the log lift chart championship today. I think, honestly, you know, what I've seen so far with Larry, I think he can surprise a lot of people and do a uh, 214 kilogram log, kilogram log today. That's insane in the first contest. He's, he's putting more pressure on you, right? No pressure at all, right? <laughs> uh, he's, very rarely is he short for words, as we found out in the interview yesterday. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I mean, I don't think pressure really, you really feel much pressure anymore. You want enough titles now? <laughs> Are you actually getting up for this now? You imagine it's for 10,000 people, it's hard not to. Can you, are you going to be able to pull this one off again, a fifth one? Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's, you know, I, I, I come here for one reason. It's, it's for the love of the sport, for, for the fans and for the love that I have for the sport, you know. It's, I can't, I can't not come here, you know. Being here competing um, and having these people around, you know, 10,000, People, fans, you know, it's, it's just incredible, you know, and, and that's the reason why I like come every year and compete. Well, thank you very much. The best of luck today. I really hope you get your fifth title. It's a true pleasure to have you here once again, Hapoy. Thank you very much. <laughs> I said it in the point now, not that long ago, you take the 100 strongest men in history and you take 100 events. And Hap Thor, at his absolute peak right now, I think he'd probably win quite a number of them, but what is most important about Hapthor is he wouldn't be out of the top 10 in very many, even with the 100, 100 strongest history, because he it's an all-rounded package, which is weird for a six foot nine guy. <laughs> you think back to Ted Van der Par, he wasn't a great presser, was he, Big Ted? No. That, that's, it's, it's remarkable, and it's that uh, ability to win any event that is going to make Thor so difficult to beat over the next few years, but there is the unknown quantity. From Burkina Faso! He's actually got a number of four, but we're talking to him, by the way. That's just good to see him in that set, by the way. Iron Diddy! Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you meet somebody, you just go, God, he's got the X Factor. I'm in you know, love with him. He's my hero, my kids love him, my wife loves him. Too much. But... <laughs> Here we go. Hey man, uh, you seem chilled for a man who's, uh, you know, could be making a bit of history today. Yeah, but thank you so much for being there today. And uh, personally, I'm more scared than last year. <laughs> because I absent the, the world record last year, so I have that pressure on me. And, uh, you know, I believe in the crowd, uh, good electricity, so we do this at the end of the night. <laughs> well, I, I remember uh, an old coach saying you can't... 
software, you've got to fire a, a cannon from a canoe, but I mean, I think this is like a USS, um, you know, you can be able to lift it. I don't know if there'll be any wobbling about in the overhead. You said, what, what's the body weight, big man? 180 kilo. It's just 400 pounds, I think, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Slim, slimmer than Brian, anyway. What's up for you? <laughs> <laughs> no one's I'm ever sure got to weigh Brian, that's the truth. <laughs> Uh, and so, two, you're not, why not 229 out of interest? Because the record is 228. Yes, it all depends on uh, how it goes, right? So, if you said after 220 kilograms, we're going to decide which is better. So, I will go with for the flow and we'll see how it goes. But uh, I, I know I will do my best tonight. You should, but I haven't seen him feeling so quiet, so I feel the tension here this time. Yeah. Let's wish him the best of luck, folks, eh? Good luck. Oh, yeah. 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 You can argue this deadlift, but really when it comes to strongman, I mean, you know, ever since we saw Bill Kazmaier, God damn it, and then when he did his first ever world record, whatever it was, no one had ever seen the logs before. Phil sort of did some weird curl up and threw it overhead uh, and, and created the first ever world record log. And there's something about it that's very iconic. Sure, truck pulls, but. Truth is, trucks all change from different places, different tires, different ball bearings. You can't have a truck well record, this is ridiculous. But a wooden log, you certainly can. And down Sadler, where it is, here it is. Daz, you've got it uh, pretty much spot on, from what I hear. You guys have had an industrial weighing scale. Is it, uh, if he does 230 kilos, how close is it going to be to 230 kilos? It is going to be spot on or slightly heavier? Well, well, over the years, there's always been a uh, question mark. Would it be a growing spot? That, oh, we did that way, what it meant to wear. We work things right, everything's videoed, put out on the internet, so the 230 log will be exactly 230, as it should be, you know? So, yeah. But, but is it quite honest that back in the day, I mean, 190 was like world class, and suddenly we've got a fellow here who's still not, where's Larry come from? 202 in his video. Scary, isn't it? How, how much time? Could be said to me, oh, of course I do 230, I maybe want to go for 250. Where, where does it stop? Well, I mean, not many years ago, uh, anybody with like a 180 log would win the competitions. We're starting at 175 today. You know, literally in the last few years, there's so many people over 200 uh, that if you can't do that, there's no point in starting the competition. You know, it's unbelievable. Uh, it's just escalating. I, I guess Bill's the ultimate. Uh, that's a little word here for Bill about long lifting. I mean, everything's technique driven. Not only that. He said a great thing to me once about the deadlift. I said, Bill, you know, you deadlifted 900 pounds. You were the king of powerlifting. Why didn't you go for 1,000? And he was like, well, I was on top of the mountain. I didn't even think there was another mountain to climb, which is uh, basically I'm stealing the line I was about to set you up for. Sorry, Bill. Uh, anything to add to that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you climb Mount Everest and you're sitting on top of the mountain, there's no ladder, there's no other taller mountain. You wouldn't dream, though, that 30 years later, There'd be a guy walking through the valley who would look you right straight in the eye, called Half Thor, at 6'9 and over 400 pounds. That was not even a dream. So after beating the guys from the past and around my own era, I was on top of the heat. And uh, you, you can only be as strong as your competition, right? It has really come a long ways over the years. As far as the log press, you want to know a little more about it? We lifted stuff that was pretty damn awkward. Cut out of the woods, a couple of holes, chopped in it, as far as ran through it. It was so imbalanced and awkward, it was extremely difficult to work with. And now it's evolved to a point with the Slater log where it's really a perfect and implement that's standardized. And it's a whole lot easier to lift, no doubt, but it's going to be precise. And I can't wait to see that record. Well, Bill Kazmaier again, folks. He is from here. Thank you, Bill. He is the best guy ever. I'm coming up to go by so I get exactly the famous shoulder has been here, you know. Uh, him, there's been Jamie Reeves, there's been Sven, Sherrod, uh, Berg Manus, and then, Brett, then 17 records from Zadrugas. Let's have a last word, and then we'll let you gentlemen go down and prepare. Thank you for your coming on, it's been brilliant, thank you. Um, PWK, Polish one this guy is just jet propelled. And I forget, who was in this group last year? Do you know who had to do the medley against him? So it was coming to you, wasn't it? I was thinking, I'll tell you, he's in proper shape. I barely did you, barely did you see him get beaten in a medley. Especially how it's in great shape. And it was like watching the. I want to tell you, you tell him. Yeah, so um, I remember obviously yeah, going into it, I was normally pretty good at that sort of event. And it was as I was picking up the, the second sandbag, he was running back towards because we had to load two sandbags and then run the farmers back. 
and as I was literally picking up the, sac the second sandbag, he's on his way back almost finishing with a farmer's organ, I was just like, oh my god, like, I, I can't believe how slow I am, but then <laughs> actually in other groups I would have placed reasonably okay, it was just that fast, it was just unbelievable, but yeah, it's quite a shocking moment for me, and yeah, he's, he's just, he's incredible. So Terry's one of these guys who, who is remarkable at flicking the switch in the last second to make things go. Even when he's in the rage of something, occasionally you get a look over from him and he's like, oh, jeez, I'm happy. <laughs> so he's, got, he's got a very expressive face. He actually speaks very good English. Uh, you won the World Tour Finals. Oh, sorry. Yes, you won the World Tour Finals. Second place at uh, World's Strongest Man. Today, a lot of people are saying you're the man to slay the mountain, to beat the mountain. Is it possible? Oh, it's hard to say kids what that was, so it would be a very tough competition. Now, obviously, you, you're, you're, you're quite a quiet man. You, 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 you keep your energy in. And I've been watching you over the years. When you first started, you were 120 kilos, and you did big long lifts. How's the long now? It sort of went, it, when that went downhill, everything else went up. I was thinking if today, if the log was back again, maybe maybe you would win. Because you, you did, I think, uh, two or eight at the Arnold's, right? One of the big logs. So what, is your log good enough? If I lift 214, I will be happy. You put your back to that then. Wow. Good. I will try this. Brian. Brian's going to chip in here. Brian does everything. He does. I, I saw a video of Mateus doing a very, very, very easy 210. Simple. So. He says he's going to do 214, he's going to do 214. He's back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming into the terminal of the music. He's a world on stop guy. So that is unbelievable. Extraordinary athlete's man. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Please, please go back down and warm up. Thank you. Paul Strong is back. You're in front of over there. And the legend, Harry Real, Tom Stolp, and Ross. So um, two weeks ago, my last um, heavy pressing session, I just had a bit of a pop in my knee. Um, just irritated the cartilage. And John's trying to strap it just to give it a bit of support. We've basically been trying to rehab four weeks of injury into two weeks. So we're just trying to protect it as much as possible and um, see how it goes. But it's not ideal, but I'm going to see how the warm-ups feel on the log and um, just take it from there, really. Hopefully it'll feel okay and it won't affect me. <laughs> you have you got you got your you got your wristband. wristband. <laughs> Forgot what they were called. <laughs> Hello. Hey, who's yeah. that? Who's that? Hi, Mark. Hanging off that beard. <laughs> you okay? Come here. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. She's wearing nice. a bracelet. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
high five? Hi. Good girl. <laughs> Can you give me five? High five? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so much. Awesome. Я не взял ряд вообще. Что? Ну, большие. 140? А сейчас 115. А сразу 140 сделать. Ну, не надо спешить.
two pieces of history. Four times world's strongest man. Four times world's strongest man. And the king. Oh wow. Put your hands together for these legends, folks. They present us One more time, please. Bill Cosman, Magnus Burr, Glenn Shaw, and Eddie Warhol. So this is the log done, one lift, really happy, if I'm honest. Um, a few weeks ago, I was hoping to come in and hit 190 to 200. Training was going well for that, um, but obviously my last heavy pressing session, I had a bit of an issue with the knee. Um, I've tried to, 175 wasn't too bad, if I'm honest with you. I think I might have a shot at 190, but I think everyone else will hit 190 as well. So it's not really gonna get me any more points. And I'm just trying to think of the, the long term. So I'm going to just try and get the knee ice now, get some treatment on it so I'm okay for the next four events because they're better events for me anyway. I can pick up more points. And um, I've got to think World is in 10 weeks' time. I've been invited to that. And I want to be back training properly within a week for that and have a real good training camp so I can hit the 200 kilo log a little bit later in the year, get this knee sorted and just think a bit more tactically. It's, you know, it's never the perfect thing to do, but I've learned over the years Sometimes you've got to try and be a bit smarter to have longevity in this sport. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I didn't hit the, the, the log that I was hoping to today, but got the opening weight, got a few points on the board, and um, now we can focus on the next four events and enjoy the rest of the, com the competition. take out of those yeah. packs. Big old leg. But it's when you use them on normal athletes, literally, you could probably use it for a yeah. like second or third time. Yeah. You guys, you just seem to 
to the keto. <laughs> Uh, best I've done in training was two twelve. I think you'll get it. You're fucking nuts. Would this be a PB for him? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He had more in him last year and stopped. Depends what kind of shape he's in, I guess, but he's always in good shape, isn't he? At the bottom, yeah. Like in the middle. He should stop. He's yeah. already won. Yeah, what is he doing? <laughs> he should stop. <laughs> this is what I don't understand. He should He's already stop. won He's out of the guys competing in Europe. Yeah. He's got the biggest lift out of all the guys in Europe. He's got the most points to carry on. This does nothing for him. Wow. Well, no, this, 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 would a, this would be a Polish record. Yeah, but it won't be the world oh, record. Um, he's he's going to have another go oh, as well. No, he's no, fucking no, nuts. Fuck it out. Come on. Shit. Uh, two, Don't do it. What's the last one? 2.20. But he's already won. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know that. Well. And there's no... Mateusz, fuck it out. <laughs> that was the plan, was it? Ah, you already won out of the guys yeah. in Europe. I was surprised you went for it because you already had the most points. You had the most points. Yeah. There's many guys do just doing the log. What did you do for 20? To beat Shishtov? Shishtov is not competing here. I don't need to beat him. He's still happy. Wait, he can wait for that.
Impressive ship. <laughs> 220 log by Iron Bibby. Interesting to see if he goes for the world record now. So deadlift done, I uh, got four reps, a bit disappointed, uh, um, in all honesty I should have been getting six or seven, but I just couldn't generate any power at the floor and I don't know if you caught it on camera, but I fucking fell off the chair when I was just um, getting prepared, getting the talc on my legs and it just jolted it some more, so every time I was driving into the floor it was just getting worse and worse, decided to leave it. I'm probably going to skip the next event. I'll do the Hercules hold because that'll be fine. It's not going to affect anything. Uh, a bit of practice on grip as well. Uh, disappointing performance. But these things happen and with Worlds being announced and not too far away, I need to get this 100% and get training for that because really, I just want another crack at getting another World Strongest Man final and trying to do as well as I can. Um, these guys are getting better and better. I'm sort, of, I'm sort of coming towards the end of my career focusing on competing. I've got other kind of things I want to focus on, so I really want a good, good run towards World's Strongest Man. Uh, I just don't want to make this worse. I'm, I'm, you know, hopefully in two weeks, two, three weeks, I should be fine. But these kind of weights you need to be 100% for to, to get what you should. So, um, I, you know, I'm disappointed because um, I know I can do better than that, but it is what it is. You know, I've competed long enough to know how it works. So we'll move on, um, tire flip and drag next. I'm not even going to attempt it. It's, that's going to be a tough one on the knee. Um, but Hercules hold, no excuses there. I'll just go in and give it my all. Um, hopefully set a benchmark for the guys and um, probably call it a day then. I can't even see me doing the stones if I'm honest today, but we'll support the other guys, get back into the gym, focus on the rehab and train hard for world's strongest man. You say hi to everyone. Good girl. Say dada. 
Say camera. Camera. <laughs> Can I have a kiss? Good girl. Say bye bye. So it's going to be the last event for me today. Um, going to have to put some effort in. I don't feel like I've done anything. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I've been kind of training my grip pretty hard. I believe I can do pretty well. So it's always tough because you've got to go first. But I want to have a, a good crack at it and try and kind of prove I'm still decent at this level. I, I know tr training wise it's going pretty well and I felt good. These things happen. I'm used to it. Um, but I'm going to give it my all on this and hopefully perform pretty well. Yeah, hold done. Um, I was happy with it. Kind of, <laughs> we've only had me and Felix go, and he's destroyed my time. But I, I'm still hoping it'll beat some guys. Mark's grip is out of this world. It is like you know world record kind of grip. Um, but it was fun to do it. Crowd was really good. Uh, just my right arm felt really solid. Left hand just kind of bolted a bit, and, and that kind of threw me off a tiny bit. But pleased with the time. Uh, we'll see how it holds up against the other guys. But Mark just went and did a blistering time, and quite honestly, I expect him to win it. So we'll see what the other guys do. The tightest Lalas, who is one of the best strongmen of all time, learn it. He's going back into arm wrestling now. He's going to teach me a few tips. So just talk us through what you're doing, because so I can see what he's doing. Yeah. Try, try. He's trying to he's trying to sort of get up on the yeah. thumb to kind of get more leverage. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> That's a powerful arm. <laughs> but you can just see how he goes like over the top.
<laughs> so even though you he, he locked out, yeah. but you've got the control. I know you're fucking good at that. No, just take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> put them down. Don't put them. Look, put at the him, look how high he's oh. trying to get up on the. I'm not, I'm not getting <laughs> We're gonna go to a strap, aren't we? No. Straighten out the wrist. Look at him, he's starting halfway yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to do it. Do it properly. Are we going to do the show? Are we going to just mess around? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Jesus. I don't even want to try and stop it because. <laughs> I'll hurt myself. Oh, yeah. Jesus fucking the, the power in his wrist and forearm is just it. I know a few little yeah. tricks and I know none of them are going to work on him. I don't even want to fucking try. Try it. Nothing to work on him. Such power. Oh, no, that's, that's not allowed. That's not gonna work. I'll try to crush that. We don't allow that. No, you can yeah. do whatever you want, but that's you won't be able to work me. Yeah. So, so when I when I when I kind of like try and roll over the top, yeah. should I be trying to like lean my body? Yeah, yeah. You, you can't lose that. Right so, can't. Yeah. So what the refs will ask you to show this. Okay, that's the problem. Yeah. So I can't go over if you if you're gonna close me before you see. Yeah, I, this, he will tell you, bring it down. Okay. So now. Can I go over my thumb like that? Oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you can go. Well, I'm going over. Yeah, yeah. So from here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. That's just insane. <laughs> it's really humbling. Yeah, no. It's yeah, cool. I, I, I get that all the time. <laughs> Where's like the strongest position for me to put my elbow? I would go forward. Yeah. From here. So if you can do this. Yes, that was awesome. Now I'm going to score. Yeah, this arm block. Yeah. Please make your way through when you are ready. <laughs> Come on, you want to try? Yeah. <laughs> Sitting in my position, yeah. he's got such so power with the Christian as well. To Me, nothing compared to this. So, I know. Yeah, I'll get you 70 kilos, guy who. It's what? like like anything you do, you kind of yeah, it's yeah, levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think with like practice, I could be okay, but those guys are just fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's different like people like with strong triceps get like into like a pressing. Yeah, but the problem one one uh, Norwegian guy did that to me, and he did this, you know. Uh, so he drops the wrist yeah. and he pushes pressing. Yeah. So drop, drop, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Was uncomfortable. Well, right. he, he, that's the way he wins. Yeah. So he did to me in that in armor. So I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, it, really? Yeah. With me? <laughs> I was like, well, this, like you know, like, but you won. Yeah. You also like some some guys have like different tactics. Yeah. Don't they? Everyone is fast. Some people just hold it. Yeah. yeah. Are you you gonna just like make someone burn uh, themselves I, out? I, yeah. Well, I, I, if it's a tall guy. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to stop. The tall guys they usually try to drop roll. The long levers because they got that leverage. Yeah, and they like basically like uh, matches. Like, you know, very long. They're like yeah, and you just go. You're like oh shit. You know, so all you need to do is like this. Just hold it. Just try to. Just hold that. Unfortunately, I can't even fucking bend down with my leg. <laughs> I was trying to get that bend, there was that fucking knee. <laughs> but he's got such power in the wrist. It's better to come close. Yeah, so, and then, uh, so play with the elbow. You know, yeah, there we go. Yeah. You take that away from me. Just trying to, again, get that yeah. leverage. Or, you go in the You're quite stocky, you sort of like yeah. nice and tight. Yeah. yeah. Just rolled it down. Yeah. So from here, so it starts from neutral. It's just, it's like you said, it's humbling. Yeah. Because I mean, Palace is one of the strongest guys I know. 
But I've done it with like 14 stone guys that, in lifting terms, I destroy them. Yeah. But they okay. still have that kind of tendency. It's just insane. Some of the top guys are not that big, are they? No. Um, well, right, it's 100 kilos. Yeah. Freaking, who else? Uh, John Brazing, 90. He's like nothing, isn't he? Yeah, he's, but he's 60. You're like, oh, what am I supposed to do with that? And now I actually have them like that. Have you, have you not watched? No. Would you like to? Huh? Would you like to? Oh, yeah, that's my goal. To get them into. I'll help you, man. If you can watch. Yeah. 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 Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm still out of that bunch of time. Stay injury free, that's it. Here we go, listen to the whistle. Darren Sandler. Yeah. I try and like top roll, like most people. That can, yeah, yeah, I always go over that wrist. Yeah. Yeah. Right top yeah. Bishop and Felix. Kind of, I can feel that if I've like, opened up. This stage, this <laughs> kind of, it's weird, isn't it? Both men lose the stone there. Bishop first to react, and he gets that second one. Oh, man, he's got no fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's very, it's very weird because I feel like if I went as hard as I can, I'm just going to hurt myself. Yes, <laughs> we were talking about this earlier. I'll be able to stop it. Yeah, yeah. So that's Europe's strongest man done for me. Um, unfortunately, since I won in 2016, I've not had much luck here. Uh, 2017, I got ill. Uh, last year I didn't compete because I was coming back from an injury and obviously picking up that niggle a few weeks ago has affected me today. Just pleased to have a top three performance on the um, Hercules hold uh, but I've just kind of, you know, I missed two events. Um, gonna have a week off, get it recovered and then focus on qualifying for World's Strongest Man. I think it could potentially be my last Worlds so I really want to have a good crack at, you know, getting to the final and really pushing for, for another top five shot um, position at World's Strongest Man. I believe with the right events I'm still capable. Um, if I can go in shape, make sure my body's feeling good, real kind of good eight weeks hard training, I believe I'm still capable of doing well. Just the guys are getting so good, I'm sort of coming towards the end of my career. Um, you know, I'll probably say this now, it's probably going to be my last World's Strongest Man, so get behind me, kind of, um, you know, keep supporting. I'm sorry for those that kind of came here and I haven't performed as well as I can, but I really appreciate all your support. It's, it's been a long career and I've had a lot of ups and downs, but winning Europe's Strongest Man 2016 is, is still the highlight of my career. Um, I've still got a few other goals that I want to hit and um, I need to kind of reevaluate, get this knee sorted, make a few changes to training and get myself in my best shape for World's Strongest Man in Florida in June. Thank you again for the support and um, I hope you enjoy this video. We've got some cool behind the scenes stuff. We haven't been able to film too much of the actual events, uh, Channel 5 kind of get a bit upset if we um, post too much of um, what's going on, so um, it's, it's not ideal, but we have to kind of listen to the rules and uh, you know try and be politically correct as it is, but um, hopefully you enjoyed the video, um, comment below, let us know what you think, uh, it's, it's been another awesome show, Europe is a really great show to come to, if you guys get the chance next year, Get down, support the guys, watch it. The atmosphere is amazing. Um, and keep supporting me. You know, I appreciate it. And focus on the next show now. World's Strongest Man in Florida.